I've been called upon to take care of business once again. Apparently, there is a gear worse than the purple speedy potion, worse than the rainbow price and omega, worse than the ice dagger or dark heart. It is known as the carnage copia, and I think nobody remembers it because they don't want to. And I think it's about time I brought this into fruition once again. This may not sound that intimidating, but when you look on the big CRT TV screen... Okay, this looks pretty intimidating. Now, of course, I have changed the description so that it doesn't completely spoil the gear for you, because the description would completely spoil it like it did for me, but I want to put that shock on your face immediately when you see what it can do. So anyways, let's bring it into the game! In terms of raw power, this thing is on a whole nother level than any other gear we've ever discussed, even though we've only discussed like four. At first, it may just seem like a uh, simple rocket launcher, right? You, ju you just launch it at people and uh, it just keeps breaking people's spurs and making them explode. You know, just the basics, except there's a little lock. But! Here's the scary thing about it. Once you get enough kills, usually free, a mode called Food Apocalypse is enabled, and it's enabled for about 10 seconds. But what does Food Apocalypse do? Well, I don't even need to say anything. I just need my old footage to speak for itself. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. The the for his neutral special, he wields a gun. Then that's gonna be me stepping back. In terms of speed, yeah, this thing is the devil. Before the absolute carnage phase that is Food Apocalypse, it's still pretty fast for a Roblox rocket launcher, being even faster than the original rocket launcher's reload speed, basically making it a buffed up old rocket launcher. And then when it gets to Food Apocalypse phase, there is literally no lag between you clicking and it firing, and there's no reload time, leading to whatever the hell you just saw before. Now this part of the gear is the bit that surprised me the most. Because yeah, while well, everything else was explained in the description of the gear, nobody told me that it would work perfectly fine in R15 with no flaws. This is actually kind of incredible considering basically every single other Roblox gear that's been overpowered has not been able to be used in R15. But this? No problems! Even the food apocalypse is just as insane! Now all this left is catalog heaven viability in. Ooh, I can't wait to use it! I have the other event one. So yeah, Saranok saw how overpowered this gear was from day one, realized, Frank, get this out of here! And completely abolished it from the catalog. But the thing is, it would have been the most overpowered item back in the day, but these days? Come on, it's a projectile. It would either be stopped by the green Pariah's Trin Omega, or that stupid black hole thing, which I used before it was to a good matter, but then they updated it and everybody discovered it. Stop it! So after writing up all the scores and dividing it by 10, I can conclude that the final score for the Carnage Copia is a 7.4 out of 10, making it barely the highest gear on our scoreboard! Yeah, it's not very good in Catalog Heaven, but with how fun it is, who cares? I can just hop on a gear testing server, be like, hippity hoppity, get off my property, then get the Carnage Copia and see everybody fall underneath me! It's so satisfying just being behind somebody and saying, hello, BOOM! It's just, I feel like this deserves to be at the very top. And it's going to take a lot to top it, like, a lot. Considering these aren't like review scores, these are like rounded scores. So, oh, like 5 out of 10 is actually pretty average, 7 out of 10 is really good, 6 out of 10 is alright, 4 out of 10 is. Mm. So, yeah, that was the Carnage Copia. Can't wait to go to another server and blow everything up.